Hi divas, how we doing? Remember when TikTok went down for 12 hours because everyone wanted to ban TikTok for some reason? Yeah, yeah, well that's the topic of this video. I crashed out kind of bad and so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna make TikTok myself. And then I realized that that wouldn't work because I couldn't figure out how to do something. And so I said, you know what, I'm just gonna make a place where I can put all my favorite TikTok videos. I saved all of my favorite videos and I said, where am I gonna put them? Into this website, that's exactly where I put them. I think the planning process for this whole thing took maybe an hour, an hour and a half. I went on Figma, I did a rough sketch, and then I said, that's good enough, let's figure out fonts and let's figure out colors. Colors were super easy because I knew I wanted to do something like dark themed with a little bit of pink. And then fonts, my mortal enemy, took me at least 30 minutes trying to figure out what font to use. And I added everything onto my root. I don't know what it's called, the, the root in CSS. I added it all there. And then I said, let's just get coding. Let's get, let's get started. For this project, I decided to do it mobile development first because that is the only sane way to do it. I said, I want a cool little funky, little hip, little modern home screen. And that modern home screen was a horizontal scroll, except I don't know how to do that except second except i did learn how to do that through my javascript 30 days of javascript website that i used and so i said i can easily replicate that that was a lie no i could not i thought i could do it by myself and i looked up a bunch of youtube tutorials except nobody was doing it the way i wanted to do it so i had to go back to my 30 days of javascript website he taught me how to do it again i was able to do it and then everything worked out fine except you know what pisses me off because at the end of all this no one can even tell that this took at least two hours of work. That's what pisses me off because it's a draggable horizontal scroll and you can only tell, you're, the only place you're able to tell it's draggable is if you're, you're using it on something bigger than a phone. Because on the phone it's already draggable. It's already a draggable screen. So why, so why did I do it? Now, here goes my second pitfall, which was Oh my god, I'm gonna get so much practice in using JSON files and the fetch API. Girl, no you're not. All you're doing is stressing yourself out and doing something that should not have been done because it could have been done an easier way. And you will find out about that easier way, guaranteed, 48 hours after you finish this project. I thought the only way to get information from a JSON file was to use the fetch API. And I recently learned, I'm not sure if this is exactly true because I haven't really tested it out, but I'm pretty sure you can just import the file into your JavaScript file and then immediately start using it. I did not know that at this time, okay? I was dumb. And instead I suffered for at least eight hours trying to figure out how to use the fetch API, how to use promises async away. I definitely made this a whole lot more complicated, but ask me if I have that experience now. Yeah, yeah, I do have that experience. Would I use async await again? Probably not. I think I would stick to promises, but I somehow did it. And that's really all that matters. Pitfall number three. I said, I'm going to make this exactly like TikTok. I'm going to make it so when you scroll upwards, the next video starts playing. Uh, wrong. I couldn't figure it out. Okay. I worked really, really hard on this part. I even downloaded an NPM library that was allegedly supposed to help me and it definitely did not. So after a couple hours, because believe me, I did work on this for a couple hours. I did give up. I thought I had it working and then I would scroll and it either wouldn't have audio or the previous one would keep playing and I just couldn't figure it out. So I said, we are not doing vertical scrolling. We are doing tapping each side to go front and back, okay? I don't know what number of pitfall this is, but I think this is my last big one for a while. I had a bunch of different sized videos, right? Somehow TikTok is able to keep them all in the same format, makes them all fit. I don't know how they do that, but mine were all different sizes and I had to figure out a way to center them all. I thought I could just justify center, align center, display flex it all. Apparently not. Apparently that's not how it works. And so I had to figure out a way to put the sizes of the videos into the JSON file and then size them accordingly. I don't even remember what I did, how I did it, but best believe I did it, okay? I added some sort of class per video to size it accordingly, and in the end, it kind of worked. I know there's a few little hiccups here and there, but it basically worked and everything turned out fine. For this section, all I had to figure out how to do was press left, go back, press right, go forward, and somehow make it loop. So easy. All you do is use an if statement that's like, if you're on the last video, go to the first video. Problem solved. The only thing I think I had a struggle with here was layering a bunch of elements on top of each other, which is something that I still wasn't really used to. Now 
I can say I'm an expert. I had the base video layered, right? And then I had the left and right section. And then I had a pop-up screen that would pop up if you're on mobile view, because if you're on mobile view, I don't know if you know this, if you have a video on mobile view, it doesn't automatically start playing unless you interact with the page first. So I had to make the page interactive so the person could click and then watch the first video. So yeah, problem solved. Next part, we're doing a little decorating. Do I think that my final result for mobile view is a little ugly? Um, yeah, I do actually. I think it's a little ugly. If you look at it for too long, it's definitely ugly. If you look at it for just the right amount of time, you'll be like, oh, that's kind of cute. I really, I worked with what I had in my brain. I worked to the max of my abilities and this is what it came up with. It's a little cute. I'm not even going to lie. I don't know how I could have done better, but just know that I probably could have mobile view finished what are we doing in this section finishing the desktop view this section was actually really easy because i had a clear idea of what i wanted it to look like and so i did just that does this look a little bit cuter than the mobile view yeah yeah i actually prefer it to the mobile view don't let me look at the mobile view or else i will punch myself but the desktop view she's cute she's cute you gotta admit it she's cute Final things I did, I added a pause screen to both desktop view and mobile view and on mobile view I added a mute button because I can and because originally it was supposed to be a save button, save video button, but I couldn't figure out how to do it. Okay, don't blame me. I just changed it to a mute button instead and it worked out fine. And that was basically it. So who's ready for an unveiling? Who's ready to see the website? Let's go straight into it. How do we feel about that because i feel really good about that i'm not even gonna lie i still feel a little proud even like three weeks later i really love her i really do i was able to work with the javascript dom and that was something that was extremely daunting for me it is not so daunting anymore at this point now i know some of react so i feel like i can start working with react but it's good that i was able to do a project using just the javascript dom in all seriousness this project really did help me out sometimes you just got to think of a cool quirky idea Idea and you just gotta do it. You don't always have to be making boring websites. Sometimes you can make cool things too, even if you are just starting. Will it take you a really long time? Yeah. Will you struggle? Yeah. Will you want to cry? Yeah. But who cares? Because you can probably do everything. I'll see you next video. I'll see you in another project. I don't know when. We'll definitely see you next week though. So bye bye. Bye bye. Bye.